Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Bear Rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system, so you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation, and in the case of this bear, that's a walk cycle. Let me show you that from multiple angles. And just as a side note, I've animated this walk cycle on 30 FPS and not on 24 because uh, I wanted the bear rig and its animations to be game engine compatible. So uh, yeah, that's why I did that. Cool, let's get back to the main features of the rig. Uh, first of all, the main purpose of the rig is to act as a, as a template rig that you can use to rig your own 3D models. So if you have any type of creature model with a similar anatomy to that of a bear, you, you'll be able to rig that model using this template rig. Okay, um, next to that, this rig comes with this block mesh and the function of that block mesh is to act as a visual guide for the placement of the bones of the rig within your own 3D model. Uh, but if you have no use for it, you can simply delete it. There's no harm in that. But uh, I've included it just uh, to make it easier to place the bones of this rig within your own model. Okay, let's uh, turn the rig back on and have a look at the main controls of the rig. First of all, we have this position controller that you can use to position the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller that you can use to animate a trajectory for your rig. We have this uh, root mass controller, which controls both the upper and lower body. We have this root controller, which only controls the lower body. So you can use that to animate a hip sway, for example. We have this tail mass controller that you can use to animate all the tail bones at once. And the same principle with this spine mass controller. It lets you animate all the spine bones at once. And then we have this head controller. So if, if I open up the tool tab and um, uh, have a look over here, you can see that the head controller comes with a headlock property. And let me show you what that does. So if I select the neck controller and move it around, you can see that the orientation of the head follows. But uh, when I toggle the headlock value and I do it again, you can now see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward. So that's nice. Okay. Onto the legs. By default, the legs are in IK mode, as you can see, but we can easily switch to FK. Now it's in FK. Let's switch back to IK uh, and have a look at the auto stretch feature. If I turn that on and I move the leg beyond this limit, you can see that the leg gets stretched. So um, yeah, that's nice for some cartoony animation. We have a tie twist, that's so you can correct some deformation in the tie. Um, we have knee pinning, so over here you have the knee, and when I move it around you can see that it follows along. But if I uh, turn on knee pinning and I now move the leg, you can see that the knee gets locked into place. Cool, that's knee pinning. Um, then some foot controls, here we have the toe controller which lets you animate all the toe bones at once. Uh, here we have a foot controller, oh, uh, which lets you animate the ankle. And here we have the foot roll controller. If you move it upwards and downwards, you can animate a foot roll. And if you move it sideways, you can animate some banking of the foot. Um, cool, yeah. To be honest, I think I've covered all the main features of this bear rig from the AutoRig Pro rig library. But if, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always happy to help. But uh, thank you for watching.